Hola, bienvenido a un nuevo episodio de Lo que David se prueba. Yo soy David. Este es el show en donde yo intento hacer cosas por primera vez. Y en este episodio voy a intentar hacer por primera vez maquillaje al estilo de calavera para Día de los Muertos. Si no has escuchado mucho de los costumbres de Día de los Muertos, es una celebración celebrada el 1 y 12 de noviembre cada año para honrar los difuntos o miembros de las familias que se han muerto. Durante esta celebración, está muy común crear altares o ofrendas para honrar los difuntos de la familia. Pero tal vez la cosa más reconocida de Día de los Muertos es la pintura de la cara al estilo de calavera. Recuerda que pintar la cara es una manera para honrar los difuntos y también el concepto de la importancia de la muerte. Así que vamos a ver mi experimento a pintar mi cara de esa forma. Ve aquí. All right, guys, I'm here at my favorite place on earth. Don't hate. Party City. Love it. You know me. You know I love Halloween. So, Dia de los Muertos makeup. Getting some. Here we go. This place has been cleaned out, you guys. Like, crazy. Okay, you guys, I got a bunch of stuff. I have no idea what I'm getting, but I just grabbed stuff that looked like it would work. So, I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm gonna make it work. Step one was a success, total success. Party city supplies secured. Now, step two, try to figure out how to do that makeup. I have no idea. But I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. You will see. All right, guys, so here we are. We're going for it. Today, we're doing. Dia de los Muertos Skull Makeup. And I've never done this before, so we're gonna see how this turns out. Um, but I've seen a YouTube video, so I guess I'm ready to do this. All right, guys, got my supplies here. Not quite sure what I needed, so I just got stuff that I thought might help me out here. So I got some, some eyeliner. Of course, I got some tubes of white paint or white cream makeup. I didn't know if I needed to get cream makeup or grease makeup, so I just got both. Powder, apparently my friend told me that you need to use powder. Some black uh, makeup stick stuff. Looks like eyeshadow, but I'm gonna try to use it to contour and make different grays and stuff in the skull. And I got some sponges to apply the Makeup, so I guess I'm ready to go. So step one is apply the light touch colorless powder. Okay. How do you? Oh, okay. I guess this. I guess this. So I apply this with what? One of these sponges, maybe. Sounds like a plan. I'm not quite sure what this is for, but my friend tells me you have to put powder on first. And he watches a lot of drag race, so he must know. Tube of cream makeup. This is going to... Oh, 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 before I do that, I'm supposed to draw the circle or the circles around my eyes. They drew the circles first. That way you have an, out, an outline over like where you wanted the where you wanted the circles to be. And then you could and then you could paint in there according to that. So I don't know if I'm supposed to draw with this or that. Or maybe this thing here? We're just gonna we're just gonna see what happens. We're just 
just gonna try it and see what happens. It looks, it looks decent. I'll have you guys know that I did not do good in art class. Okay, I'm happy with that. That looks pretty good, right? There's no way I'm gonna be able to do this without some kind of assistance from the YouTubes. Thank God for YouTube, right? I kind of want to do my nose like this guy. This guy looks pretty good. Oh yeah, that's the one. That's totally how I'm going to do my nose, right there. All right, here goes nothing, guys. We're going with the grease paint. So, let's do it. There's something kind of zen about this. It's kind of like very relaxing almost. Like I feel like med like I'm meditating or something. Is that part of the allure of makeup? Okay guys, so I've managed to apply the grease paint, and I guess I'm kind of happy with it. I mean, I don't know. It's on my face now. Okay, so, um, what's next? I think I'm gonna try this um, as the dark color around my eyes and see if that works. I don't know if it's gonna work. Not bad. So from here, guys, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to color in the rest with the eyeshadow, and then I'll go in with the pencil and draw some of the other skull features. So let's see how this turns out. Attempt, first attempt at uh, Dia de los Muertos skull makeup. I have to say, uh, my biggest takeaways are you have to have a very steady hand to do this kind of stuff. Um, but I think after a while, I started to get the hang of it, and um, I don't know. I kind of like my my work here. Kind of got into some grays and some blacks, and and uh, yeah. So uh, I guess. Now time to take some pictures, and uh, well, Dave tried it. Como pueden ver, este experimento, en mi opinión, fue todo un éxito. Bueno, es todo para hoy. En mi próximo episodio, voy a intentar algo más diferente y difícil. Hasta la próxima.